Hi, you guys. Um, I thought I would check in with you. I was looking at my channel and realized it had been a while since I had posted anything about my progress. Um, as you can see, I look a little different than before. <laughs> so it's been nine months since um, I had vertical sleeve gastrectomy. Um, I have lost 91 pounds. That's crazy. Um, and I don't regret it for a second. I'm so glad that I did it. Um, one of the first things that I hear people say um, who are considering getting the surgery but are on the fence about it is basically that they're afraid of things that are illogical. I don't want to be too skinny or they have problems like imagining their body at a different size and equating that with being attractive. Um, <clears throat> like for me, I never felt like I was unattractive um, at my largest size. I didn't feel unattractive. So uh, part of my hesitations with having the surgery is like, was um, I can lose weight. I'm attractive at any size. What do I need to have surgery for, you know? So I understand, I understand. Um, but that's all very illogical. Uh, me being diagnosed with sleep apnea really kind of sealed the deal for me with that. I knew there was no going back. Um, there was no going back on that decision. Um, just the idea that I could uh, go to sleep and not wake up is really scary. And I'm only 36. I was 35 when I had it done, so. Um, but yeah, I just want to let you know I'm, I'm doing well. Um, I'm eating solid foods most of the time. Um, the only bad, bad thing, it's very manageable, um, that I have is acid reflux, but I take, um, I take an acid reducer and as long as I take that, I'm fine. Um, but yeah, I can eat most foods. Uh, some stuff I don't eat or I eat very little of. Um, bread makes me very uncomfortable. I can eat small portions of it, but just it makes me uncomfortable. Um, rice is kind of a no-no for me. Pasta makes me really uncomfortable. Um, I haven't tried oatmeal. The idea of me trying it terrifies me. Um, so basically anything that expands in water or expand, could expand in my stomach scares me. Um, sometimes I do find myself, I'll be chewing a food and I get anxiety about how my stomach is going to handle it and I end up spitting it out because I don't know what's going to happen and I don't want to find out because what I have experienced is that it's not good. <laughs> Um, I remember one time I, I felt like, I literally felt like my stomach was going to burst. That is the only way I can explain it. Like I felt horrible. Um, I've also gotten a lot better at eating slower. Um, there was a period of time where I would just, I'm accustomed to eating fast. I've always been a fast eater. Um, and so I'm really taking the time to like train myself to savor my food, eat more slowly, pay attention to what my body is telling me, um, and not have that sense of urgency to get my food down like I did before. And that really prevents me from needing to vomit. Um, having to regurgitate food after you've had VSG is a really uncomfortable process. Um, so yeah, definitely want to try to avoid that. But I mean, I feel 
great. Um, and I'm really happy that I had it done. Uh, I just regret I didn't get it done sooner. Thanks. Bye.